Hey everyone, this is John Bacon. Now, Webinar Jam have added a brand new feature into their platform where when people sign up for a webinar or an automated webinar, you can send them to a custom thank you page. And this is really valuable for two important reasons. One is that you can now much more effectively track conversions for your webinar session. And number two is that when people have signed up, you can give them a much richer set of content as they're waiting for the session, which will significantly improve the likelihood of them actually attending your session. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through what this new feature is, how it works, how to create a thank you page, how to pass the relevant information to your thank you page from Webinar Jam, and then how to set up the conversion tracking in Google Analytics. Lots to dig into. You ready, folks? Let's do it. All right, welcome everybody. So tracking conversions is important with everything that you do, but it's always been a bit lacking in Webinar Jam because when someone would register for an event, it would send them to the, the thank you page that's on their platform. But the problem is, is that you can't very easily glue Google Analytics into that and therefore be able to track those conversions very easily. And the reason why we want to track these conversions is we want to know where is the traffic coming from that's ultimately converting into registrants? Is it coming from social media, from email, organic search, paid ads? Which kind of paid, paid ads are we focusing on? Those types of pieces, okay? So adding this custom thank you page feature is really, really valuable for that. But the other really, thing, the other really important thing here is that what you put on your thank you page is going to massively, massively influence the number of people will actually show up and attend it, okay? So you wanna make sure that you kind of seal the deal in terms of the content, and you could put some kind of cool things on the thank you page template in Webinar Jam, but when you can do it on your own site, you've got massive flexibility in how you do that, all right? All right, so let's first of all dig into it. So this is um, this is Ever Webinar. I mean, I believe you can do this for Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar, um, but I'm gonna take this uh, automated uh, session which I call a training, not a webinar, because webinars are supposed to be live. Don't call automated webinars webinars. It seems a bit wrong to me. If you click on thank you, this now says default versus custom thank you page. You can click the little pencil and you can select your own custom page and you can pop in a link down here. Okay, now before you set this up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've actually created this page and it's up and running and it works because when people register for your session, it's gonna send them to this page. So you wanna make sure that it's obviously there and, it, and it's production ready, okay? So let me show you how this works with my session. So let me reload this so we can get the full, the full effect with the countdown. So when people come here, right, this is, you know, uh, this is the, the landing page for the automated session. Um, I have a separate video about how to create uh, landing pages that convert. Be sure to click the link in the video description below. And I also have another uh, video where I talk about um, uh, the statistics in Webinar Jam, how to read them and how to get better results once you've once you've kind of understood them. Okay, so be sure to check that out in the video description below too. So this is the page. They click on register. You know, it's the usual kind of deal. They pop in all of their details. Um, and then what's going to happen is it's going to take them here and this is the thank you page so i create this page this has got the same url up here that we popped in down here okay all right so this is the page now again i'm going to do like a separate video about how to create these pages because it's so important if you have a terrible thank you page for a webinar or an automated webinar it's going to massively impact how many people are actually going to show up. So for example, this video walks through kind of the value in the session, what I'm going to cover. I show some statistics from previous sessions to show how popular it's been. It kind of seals the deal, all right, to justify the time. You're asking a lot from them. You're asking them to spend an hour with you, okay? Uh, all this kind of stuff down here. So I put this up last night. They only added this feature very recently into Webinar Jam. So, uh, you know, I haven't gone and split tested this and done loads of testing on this to make sure that it's as efficient as possible. But what's most critical here is this box over here that says how to connect. And you can see here it says your training slot is reserved at null at null. And this is obviously where you're going to be able to, where you're going to need to put in the date of the session and the time of the session. You're going to want to make sure that this button here is going to link off to their individual webinar link that they that they get when they sign up for the session and if you look in the um if you look at the bottom of your of the video in the status bar in the browser you'll be able to see it just it's pointing off to another page of my site that just says null that's because this link is empty okay so this obviously hasn't got the right kind of information in it so how do you get that information from webinar jam well what happens is when somebody goes and signs up and it redirects them to this page it's going to add that information into the link. So if you see the link up here, it's got a load of this other stuff next to it. Compare it to this one, which is just 
me loading the page directly. Here's all of this extra information. This is called the query string. It's very, very common that websites do this where they put information um, essentially at the end of the domain. And then this information you can pull and display on the page. Okay. Now, different websites will do this in different ways. I'm running I'm running WordPress on my site here, and I'm using a theme called Divi. And I'm going to walk through how I've done this with Divi. Uh, and I'm going to show you some pretty rudimentary JavaScript for how to do it. Uh, but you'll want to check how this works for your particular site. But this will give you the core principles that you can then apply moving forward. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this page. So this is my standard page. And you'll notice up here when I'm in kind of like edit mode, it's just a white box up here, right? It doesn't have any of this information in there. So if I click on this in Divi, which is an awesome theme for WordPress, um, this is where you, what I've done is I've added a code module. And what this will do is it will run whatever's in the code box just right there. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, oh God, I don't want to do any code and that's terrible, terrifying and scary. It, this is actually really easy, okay? I'm not going to give you a comprehensive JavaScript lesson. I'm going to give you the basics of how this works. Let me make this bigger so we can actually see what's going on, okay? Hang on, zoom in. All right, let me move it over here so you can see. So what happens here is this query string, is this line over here, what that's going to do is that's going to essentially pull out the contents of of the of the address bar and put it into a variable called query string, right? Um, and then what it's going to do is it uses this this uh, this function here called URL search params, and what that's going to do is that's going to put that into this, and we can use this to then pass through and pull the relevant pieces out, right? So you can think of this, think of URL params as a list of the um, variables that are in the in in the address bar up here. Now, you may be wondering what kind of information is being sent to your page. Well, if we go to the help for uh, for this feature, these are the list of parameters, okay? So first name, last name, the email address, the country code for the phone, the number. This is really important, the unique li link live room. So this is the link that they'll click on to go to the session, uh, a password if there is a password. I generally wouldn't recommend you send this via the query string because that could be sniffed out, but for a lot of people, they don't have a password for their sessions. Um, the event date, the event time, the event time zone. So these, all of these different pieces, okay? So if you look, let's say for for example, let's take one up here in the, I know it's a little small to see, but if we look up here in the, um, uh, in the string, right? We can see here, so I'm in the address bar of my browser. This is one of them, right? Okay, so this is uh, Webinar Jam next event date, and it says Monday. Now, this little percentage two, that's basically a space, okay? It basically says Monday, 31st of August, 2020. And then you'll see that there's a little ampersand here, and then that's kind of like a separator, and then you've got the next one, the next event time, okay? And it lists it there, okay? And you can see here that it says 1.45 a.m., okay? And that's the information that we've got right over here. So that's how the information is passed to the page. So if we go back to this, remember, think of this URL params here as just a big list of that data. So if you say, for example, okay, I want this one uh, from that list, it will then display the value, such as Jono. Or if you want this one, it will then display the value, such as Bacon, right? So think of it as a kind of a lookup table. It's like looking someone up in a uh, in like a phone book. So here, what we do is we use document write. This is what writes content to the page. How to connect, okay? Um, your training slot is reserved for at. I'm not going to go into the HTML and how this works because I think some of you will already know that. So what we do, this is the critical piece. It says URL params dot get. So that's kind of looking up that list. WJ next event date. And then it displays it there. And I'm putting it in between these two strong tags to make it bold, okay? So that's where we get this. Hang on. Okay, and then we say at, and then we add this one, which is event time. And hang on, this is where we get the event time. You see, it's dead simple. Um, well, simple's relevant. <laughs> relevant, relative. It's been a long day, folks. Be gentle with me. Now, for the button here, um, I needed to kind of create a button using CSS and HTML. There's loads of great tutorials in line for how, how to do this, but I just basically created this button here. The most relevant piece here is the link, okay? So if I go 
up here you know a is a link tag in 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 um in html and then for the href which is where you send the link again we use this url params.get and then we look up wj lead unique link live room and as i mentioned earlier on that's uh where is it here and that's what's going to put the link in this button right here so when they click on that it'll take them to it okay dead simple kind of stuff now what's cool here is that now when somebody goes and registers for the session you know let me just go full screen again now if somebody goes and registers for the session um it'll now take them to that page they'll have everything there and remember you can put as whatever you want on that page you can have the video you can have details and you know all the giveaways they're going to be providing it's going to provide you a really compelling way to kind of sell people on the session and also what's going to be amazing about it is it's all going to look consistent it's not like they're going to a separate website okay it's all on your own website now before i go into the google analytics of course be sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button, and of course, tap that little notification bell. I put out all kinds of videos like this, and, you know, liking and subscribing really does me a solid, all right? So now let's go to Google Analytics. So how do you track this kind of stuff? Well, if you go into Google Analytics, and at the bottom down here, you can kind of see it. Hang on, let me see if I can... Oh, I haven't set it up so I can make me disappear, but down here in the bottom left, you can see this little uh, cog icon. Click on Admin, and it will take you over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on Goals, um, and I'm going to click on new goal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a custom goal. Okay. And I'm going to do a test webinar goal. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll select destination. So we're based in the conversion on where do they ultimately land? Like when they hit that thank you page, we know they have registered we know that's happened okay so we're going to click on continue and then what you do is the destination here this is where you take your thank you page so we'll take this one and cut off all of this all of the variables because you won't have those yet and then we're going to go back in here we're going to pop it in here right and what's really important here is trim off your domain get rid of that and set it to equals to so what this is going to do is it's going to basically say when someone hits that goal that page rather, it will trigger this conversion, okay? And if you want, you can set a value for this if you want to or all that kind of stuff. But what you definitely wanna do here is you wanna now set up the funnel, right? So first of all, for me, the first page is gonna be the landing page, right? So this is gonna be the page where they, let me get, let me reload this and get rid of this. This is where they go and discover the, the, um, the, the session. I'm gonna put that in there and again, lop off the the domain and then i'm going to add another step and then i'm going to add thanks so these are essentially the two pages that people are going to go to inside of the funnel you can then kind of click verify this goal if you want to and it'll show you for example you know uh i've just set up this session so it'll show that there's a you know the conversion rate is there but this will kind of go and look through previous data to make sure that it's actually working and then you can click on save and at that point now you've got your goal set up and now what you can do is you can look in Google Analytics and see how many people are actually converting and where they kind of come into in the funnel. And what's cool about that is you can then say, okay, these are the 50 people that converted. What is the traffic that's driving them there? Is it your social media? Is it your organic search? Is it your paid ads? Whatever it is. And that will give you more insight into what people are doing. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Hit that like button. Of course, hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell for more uh, videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.